When it comes to Namco, you're talking about one of the pedigree video game designers. Right back from when it started, you're talking about the likes of Pac-Man, Galaxian in the arcades. Moving into the 80s, the likes of Dragon Spirit, Rolling Thunder, Newman Athletics. Then into the 90s, absolute touchstone of 3D games. Ridge Racer, Tekken, onto the PlayStation. Game series that have become absolute cornerstones of that machine's original success and beyond. They're still about now. They've uh, joined with Bandai in Japan. They're publishing the likes of Demon Souls, Elden Ring. Not producing those games, but they're still there. Absolute fantastic lineage. And during the 80s, they released so many arcade games and brought them home to the likes of the Nintendo Famicom, many other machines. Now, Namco had a good relationship with Nintendo's early days for the Famicom, or in the west of NES. One of the things about Nintendo we've got to understand is that their licensing system was a bit barbaric. In the States, it was almost like, if you want to release uh, video games for Nintendo, you're not allowed to release it anyone else. When Namco came to re-establish their contract with Nintendo, they didn't like the sound of their details, they didn't like the sound of sort of stringent conditions they'd be under so they found new bedfellows in the recently released PC Engine from NEC and Hudson Soft. They did sign a contract with Nintendo and uh, continued to release games but between 1988 and 1992 they released 25 odd games from the PC Engine all on the cartridge format as well. One thing we've got to understand about the PC Engine is that the CD-ROM system came out in 1989 I think only one year after the cartridge system. And by 1991-92, it had become the lead format. So NEC and Hudson were the only company I can think of in history who successfully migrated their user base from one medium to another, from the cartridges to the CD-ROM. But Namco, they never took part of this. They purely hue card, which named the cartridges from 1988 to 1992, where released a shed load of games mainly arcade conversions and a few others. And we're going to collect them all. We do have a few already, but um, absolute fantastic company. All of the games bar two have got this design along the top. So they stand out a mile from the rest of the PC Engine catalog. And uh, for me, I've got such a long history with Namco that this just seemed a great place to start for a small collection. They're not ridiculously expensive. Some are not what you'd like to pay, but across the board you can get games pretty cheap. The likes of Dragon Spirit, about 15 quid. And very nostalgic for me, so I thought this is exactly where we start. Let's take you back to around 1988-1989. So, I used to go and buy my Amstrad games from a place called the Micro Center in North End, Portsmouth. I can remember picking up Robocop there. You'd go in there, you know, I used to get CVG Amstrad Action. And obviously you'd see a lot of stuff in these mags. And in CVG, very wide ranging stuff, like the PC Engine and import games that were coming out of Japan. But not so much on hardware. You go into somewhere like the Micro Center, and for a child, I mean I was literally a child, nine, eight, nine, ten, wild. You go in, I've seen an Amiga 2000 for a start. I mean, what is this? Never seen this in magazines. A desktop Amiga, I think it was running some kind of battle chess game. Moving on the desk, we've got like a Philips monitor 
and it's running a white PC engine. And the game it's running is Dragon Spirit from Namco. My God. You know, let's get to the chase. One of the main reasons for a PC Engine success was that it was the first system in the home that brought home the arcade games pretty much intact. Let's not kid ourselves that they're perfect, but at a glance, it was the first machine where you think that looks like the arcade game. You know, NES, much reduced graphics, much reduced sound, many reduced features. PC Engine, it's got the colors, it's got the sound, it's got the pop, it's got the speed. Arcade games have come home for the first time, correct me, and absolutely amazing. So yeah, Dragon Spirit, one of many arcade games to come home to the PC Engine. One of the first you start to see in magazines. Reviews were in for this in the UK magazines. Top scores, excellent game. Basically, a shoot em up where you're a dragon. One of the main features is that by collecting power-ups, you can increase your flame shot, but also you can add more heads to your dragon. So the heads mean you've got a wider spread of fire, more firepower, but also they count as hit points. If you get hit, you'll lose one of the heads. If you've got one head and you get hit, it starts to affect your life points. So let's have a look at the game. So in those videos, we're gonna do one go per game. Not gonna spend ages looking at the game. Just get through the lives. And give you a quick idea of what the game's like, the music, the graphics. Let's do it. Dragon Spirit. So look, like Zevius, which was also an early Namco game, that had this feature, there are ground targets, so one button shoots the sky targets and another drops these bombs down at the ground targets. So those red ones, they give us a little bit of a power up. And this blue egg gives us our first head or first extra head, shall I say. Music's kicking, right? I tell you what, these sort of static, are they like trees? Evil fucking trees. Ah, oh, I've missed that power up. I like, no, I haven't. Yeah. Fucking hell. Ah. Oh. Oh, I don't even want to hit him. Fuck. Let's get out of the way. Are oh, you joking, man? Right, concentrate. These buggers closing in on you. Yeah, when you've got low firepower like this, yeah, they're coming for you. Oh. You've got to stop these targets. I mean, those trees, sorry. Bit of power ups, don't we? Maybe it's best just to hit these guys, he's gonna drop something. You see, as you pick up those red ones, the bar on the bottom right increases under your firepower. Could have done with a bit more going into the boss, but here we go. Oh, 
Jesus. Yo! <laughs> they see these games always start with that kind of lull of music before it gets into the badass which is how a lot of PC engine music goes fucking Ada It's like volcano boulders. Look at this! Three heads! Look at this! PC Engine doing it as the sprites flap around the screen. Blast these volcanoes? Maybe not, they're just annoyances. Shit. No power-ups, uh, let's see how we get on. This life may not last long. What's that? See these mysterious power-ups get dropped by the sky targets. I'm not really sure what they are. Fucker, did I take two hits there? Ah, uh, shittux. There we go. Get the idea. Dragon Spirit for PC Engine. Tune in next time to see what game from Namco we've got next. Till later. Keep it rad.